Hey everybody, Quick Draw here, and uh, today me and Madison is out metal detecting. We're doing the shoulder of these roads right here that's abandoned. This is the road that's uh, sliding off into the lake, probably be about a quarter of a mile up a little further. But uh, look at this, uh, grapes everywhere. So this road's been closed for a while, grapes all over there. Hey, J-Mo, I was going to tell you, this is what you do. Uh, you let the kids carry all the equipment. She's got the metal detector. And what else she got? She's got her lunch box, and uh, she's got the digging tool, and she's got the backpack carrying water. And as soon as your son gets a little older, he can be doing it, and it sure makes it nice on, on those old fellas, you know. So, uh, yeah, we're going down through here, and we're digging, and... Uh, Dug up some clad a little earlier, and I throwed it in my uh, backpack. And uh, when we took a break a second ago, I was uh, checking it out. And uh, check this out. I've already cleaned it off. But I thought this was just a clad quarter. And I cleaned it and wiped it down real good. But check this out. This is a 1935 silver quarter if I can get this to uh, zoom in nineteen thirty five silver quarter thought it was a uh, clad quarter start cleaning up the rim so um, yeah that's nice to have On to the next. Hey everybody, quick draw here. And it's uh, about 4.30 in the afternoon. And I'm back out to the fairgrounds. Back on the old mud pits. Uh, really hot the last couple days. The fair just got over with uh, Sunday. Today's Tuesday, so they're still tearing tents down. There's tents all back out behind here and uh, thought I'd come out here they had a lot of, this is where everybody camped that was working the fair a lot of people so I'm gonna do this out in here I found some clad I found a few little things but I just found somebody's keys here in the mud pits so I'm not gonna keep them I'm gonna set them up here on this electric box and that way when maintenance comes through They'll find these keys and uh, they might be able to return them if anybody's still looking for them. So uh, I'm going to stay out here for a little while. Very, very hot uh, for September. So uh, we'll see what we can find. Well, my next find is a little spoon bowl. And that is uh, another one of them uh, little bitty ones. It's uh, aluminum, aluminium, because it bends pretty good. It's not rusty. So I had a really nice hit, and I first I dug this big piece of steel. I knew that wasn't it, so I kept looking around in the sand here, and it's real sandy here. So it's a little aluminum spoon bowl. So. Okay, on to the next. Well, my next find is a little buckle. It looks like a little shoe buckle. And I believe I know who it belongs to. The guy's name is Tom Thumb. Because it is little. That's probably the littlest buckle I've ever found. So, uh, Tom. If you're looking for your shoe buckle, you have to get back with me. On to the next. Well, today we got a professional archer. My granddaughter. She's seven. And she's going to shoot this either this compound or this long bow. And she's going to attempt to shoot a grape. Yesterday she shot an apple. Okay, 
she's got her lucky boots on today she's ready to do a grape Hello. let's hit that grape oh she got close close hey John when your granddaughter gets a little older, this is what you get to look forward to. Okay, here we go. The long bow in action. Going for the grape. Got me, uh, ooh, getting Not close. She knocked it. grapes down. Yeah. But I didn't shoot it. Nope, not yet. I never got to shoot it yet. Got me an Amazon but I here. Didn't shoot it. Okay, let's gotta back up just a little bit. You gotta give that grape a chance. All right, she get knocked it off there. All right, good job. Let's go do some boot scoop boogieing.